What up, it's your buddy Mark, uh, your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. I got um, my first hater, or Eminem hater, maybe a little bit of both, I don't know. Um, incognito, <laughs> his, doesn't even use real name. And his picture is um, celery sticks next to a, looks like a jar of blue cheese. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, he sent me, I did my last video, I did uh, Lord Jamar talking about getting Grand Nubian back together to diss Eminem. And um, he sent me this long message, like this long. And I'm not, I'm not gonna read all that. I'm not gonna do it. And I'm especially not gonna sit back and type and go back and forth typing. I don't do text wars, I don't do Facebook. Anything typing, I'm not doing that. No. <laughs> And I'm not reading anything that long. If um, you got something to say, keep it to two, three senses, and maybe I'll respond. Or I'll read it. <laughs> but, um, oh, he did say, all right, so we said, um, react to this. K Rhino Fuck Eminem Classic. So I want, I want to hear what he's got to say. What can he tell us about Eminem that we don't already know? Is them them beat? Can't even get your own beat. Sounds like cloud chasing already. Bl uh, black woman, I brought racing it. Two seconds of song. Alright, I got that. Why? Oh. All right, so obviously he's talking about the Foolish Pride song that Eminem made when he's 15, and he's saying that everyone in the hood should have shot you. So he was wrong for that song, but he was 15 years old. You really gonna drag out a 15-year-old kid and shoot him and have everyone kick him in the ass, a 15-year-old kid? I mean, you never said something stupid at 15? Not like... Uh, I find that hard to believe. Um, Ortiz, Joel Ortiz said, if when he was 15, if a white girl had broken up with him, he'd probably go home and be like, stupid white bitch. He was, he was, Emma was angry. And, <laughs> whatever, okay, let's go. 15 year old, let's drag him through the streets. What do you say? <laughs> what does shady mean? Sorry, ho, ass, dick, yanker? Yes, he got that right. Right on the money. When Eminem made the shady, he meant he meant it to stand for sorry, ho, ass, dick, yanker. And you were a quick thinker. <laughs> I could have said shower, hour, after the Dean you know, these. <laughs> I don't know. Yay ho. <laughs> I don't know. You didn't let him in. You had nothing to do with it. What is that even supposed to mean? He's undercover? Undercover with who? He's an undercover cop? I don't think so. And undercover like a motherfucker that sleeps in his bed? Yes, I put the covers on in the bed. Otherwise, I get cold. Um... Maybe he's so hood, he's learned to live without the covers. It's all about that song. <laughs> he was, babies can't write. <laughs> babies can't write songs. But um, it's not about how long ago it was, but what age he was, what age he was when he said it. If it had come out now, and it's 15 years ago, at 47, fucking, that would make him um, uh, 37 minus 5. It would make him 32, he said it. That would be fucked up. 32-year-old, can't get away with that. A 15-year-old, yeah. It, you do stupid... I did so much stupid shit at 15 that I wish I could take back. It's just none that got recorded. Thank fucking God. Murder them. For this Will Smith... Uh, all I said about Will Smith 
was he doesn't have to cuss in his records, but I do. And so do you, uh, Kangaroo. I mean, Rhino. <laughs> Let's keep going. I'm having fun. Oh. <laughs> I kick strong shit. A motherfucker don't get along with. Fucking with the wrong click. Classic song. Classic. That was actually pretty good right there. I've actually thought about that. If Pac was alive, what do you like Eminem? Uh, it's hard. The end, Pac did not like anybody. He hated not. You know, he hated Biggie, obviously, but he hated Nas. He hated Mob Deep. Um, at the end, him and Snoop weren't getting along, and he hated Drake after Drake death, death row. So, Dre producing Eminem, Tupac automatically wouldn't have liked Eminem. So he he wouldn't like him because of Dre. But, so, so take Dre out of the equation. Just think hypothetically. Fat Joe has always said his biggest regret was not signing Eminem. So if Fat Joe had signed Eminem, wow, thinking about some big pun Eminem collabs, that'd be amazing. Um, and the, the big pun albums had amazing beats. So that Terror Squad CD. All right, so now M, say M is not signed by Dre, because that would automatically mean... Pac wouldn't like him. He signed a fat Joe, a white kid, chilling with Latinos from Detroit, not New York. I think Pac would have been okay with it. While you're at home with your wife, get a fucker strap on. Okay. I'm not listening to that hook again. It's horrible. I get I kick strong shit. Motherfuckers don't get along with. <laughs> okay, um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Not his. Incognito. Have a good night. Peace.